Okay, so let's use a real browser. HTML unit driver clearly is a real browser. HTML unit is a real browser. It's just headless. So let's use one that we can see running. This will be super exciting. So let me just create a new test for this. I'm doing copy and paste. This is bad because now I have code duplication, but we'll cover refactoring later on, I'm sure, in one of the, the lectures. So let me just do Firefox is supported by WebDriver, because it is. And the way that it is supported is through the driver. So if I create a new instance of a Firefox driver here, there we go. I've now got a test that will instantiate Firefox, go off to the page, and check the title. So let's try that. Let's see what happens. So there we go. A couple of things there. Firefox took a lot longer to start. On my machine in particular, for whatever reason, Firefox takes 10 to 15 seconds to start up. Yours may start faster. The other thing is, you can see here the test has stopped, the test has finished, the test has passed, and I still have a browser window open. That will be a killer if I have more tests. So what we have to do driver dot close or quit. So driver dot quit will close all the browser windows that are open. Driver dot close will close the, the window that's open. Let's just double check what the docs say about that. Control Q. Driver dot close. Close the current window and it will quit the browser if it's the last window. Driver dot quit will quit the browser and close all the windows. Now we didn't have to do this with HTML unit driver because HTML unit driver is headless. Everything is within the same thread, it all works fine. Firefox driver starts up an entirely new process and we have to tell it to stop. And that's where the close comes in. So there we go. This now, let's run it, let's check. There it is, Firefox is running and closed all through the test. So there you go, that's how to start with a proper driver. Feel free to experiment with a Firefox driver. From here on out, we'll be starting to work with real browsers.